Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all for the preview for the 18th day of the monsoon meeting here in Calcutta. The last day of the Calcutta monsoon meeting. We move on to the first race, the Silver Bear Handicap. A handicap for horse rated 1 to 26 in class 5 to be run over a distance of 1600 meters. Number 1 will be looking good. Looking good's last outing uh, was in race number 122 over 5.5 furlongs where looking good finished on 6th. And uh, the winner of that race was Perfect Balance who just about managed to hold on and win on win that race. Number two will be Queen's Kitten. Queen's Kitten's last outing was in race number 110 this monsoon meeting over 1800 meters where Queen's Kitten finished a far away third and the winner of that race was Smith & Wesson, an impressive winner who won that race by about five and a half lengths. Number three will be Zoraya. Zoraya has just had one start this monsoon meeting in race number 99 over 1200 meters where Zoraya finished at, at the back end of the field to finish on 10th and the winner of that race was the last judgment who came up with a rattle on the outside to go on and win that race. Number four will be Constance. Constance last outing being this monsoon meeting in race number 90 over 1600 meters where it finished on fourth the same race we had number six Porus who finished on sixth and the winner of that race was Adriatic Sea who came up with a strong run down in the center and went on to win that race. Number five will be Schaefer. Schaefer has already had four starts this monsoon meeting and run off the board all four times. Last one being in race number 97 over 1400 meters where Schaefer uh, eased up way long way from home and finished on 10th. And the winner of that race was My Lady Luck. Number seven will be Royal One. Royal One's last outing was in race number 111 over five and a half furlongs, where Royal One finished on eighth. The winner of that race was Midnight Magic, who came up with a dazzling run on the outside to win that race. Number eight will be Star Phoenix. Star Phoenix last outing was not an impressive one in race number 119 over 1400 meters where Star Phoenix finished on 9th. The winner of that race was Hail the Queen. The second race will be the Annihilator Handicap to be run over a distance of 1100 meters. Number one is Tangaluma. Tangaluma's last outing was in race number 122 over five and a half furlongs where Tangaluma found himself uh, in a tight bunch and finished on fifth and the winner of that race was Perfect Balance. Number two will be Ikakin. Ikakin's last outing was in race number 22 over 1400 meters where Ikakin finished on 12th and uh, also in the same race we had number 10 Artist Royale who finished on 6th and the winner of that race was Zara Goes Zara. Number three will be Major Colors. 
Major Colors' last outing was quite an impressive one in race number 126 over 1,200 metres where Major Colors came up with a late run to finish on third. Also in the same race, we had number four, Winning Turn, who finished on right at the back end of the field to finish on 12th. Also in the same race, number five, Shania Spett, who did lead the field till the distance post, but then faded away to finish on 7th. Also in the same race, we had number six, Winner's Delight, who finished on 8th. Eighth and the also in the same race we had number nine Imi and myself who finished on sixth and the winner of that race was Diamond Harbour. Number seven will be Wiserion. Wiserion's last outing this monsoon meeting was in race number 119 over 1400 meters where Wiserion finished on 11th. Also in the same race we had number eight Dark Angel who finished on 5th and couldn't produce much was Dark Angel. The winner of that race was Hail the Queen. Number 11 will be Curtis. Curtis has had four starts this monsoon meeting race. Last one being in race number 111 over five and a half furlongs where Curtis finished on 11th. Also in the same race we had number 12 Mustang who finished on 5th and the winner of that race was Midnight Magic. We move on to the third race in today's card, which is the Roll and Twist Handicap to be run over a distance of 1,100 metres. Number one will be Bacardi. Bacardi's last outing was in race number 121 over five and a half furlongs where Bacardi finished on fourth, was in the front bunch of runners in the final stages of the race, but uh, faded away to finish on fourth. Also in the same race, we had number eight, Artificial, who finished on seventh, and also number Ten was Lilac Time who finished on ninth. The winner of that race was Fraser Gaze. Number two will be Scarlet Tempera. Scarlet Tempera's last outing was in race number 122 over five and a half furlongs where it finished on fourth. Also in the same race was uh, number five, the stable mate Stunner who finished on a close second behind the winner who was Perfect Balance. Number three will be Tiburon. Tiburon's uh, last outing was in race number 115 over 1,200 meters, where Tiburon finished on a close fifth. The winner of that race was Nomi. Number four will be Stella Nova. Stella Nova has just had one start this monsoon meeting where Stella Nova was quite erratic throughout the course and uh, finished on ninth over six so longs. Also in the same race, we had number seven, Blaze to Glory, who finished on 11th. And the winner of that race was Prancing Queen. Number six will be X-Lite. x Lights had three starts this season and finished on uh, seventh in its second start, but has won two starts this monsoon meeting. Last one being in race number 83 over five and a half furlongs, where it came up with a late run to finish on uh, to win become the winner of that race was x Lite. Number nine was Gimme Credit. Gimme Credit's last outing was in race number 105 over 1200 meters where Gimme Credit finished on 6th. The winner of that race was TV Dabo. Number 11 will be Mrs. Willie Nilly. Mrs. Willie Nilly has had one win this season. Finished 2nd uh, in its last start in race number 104 over 1200 meters. Uh, quite a far away 2nd was Mrs. Willie Nilly. Two lengths behind the winner who was Monaco. An impressive one that day. Number 12 will be Hurricane Storm. Hurricane Storm's last outing was in uh, race number 111 over 1100 meters where Hurricane Storm finished on 10th and the winner of that race was Midnight Magic.
We move on to the fourth race in today's car, which is the Alarico Plate. To be run over a distance of 1,200 meters, number one will be Dakshesh. Dakshesh's last outing was in race number 75, over five and a half furlongs, where Dakshesh came into the straight, finish, uh, running second, but eventually faded out to be fourth. And the same race, the winner was Mrs. Willie Nilly. Number two will be Ghost Creek. Ghost Creek's had two starts this season, finished on board both its outings, last one being in race number 99 where Ghost Creek went into a start to finish essay but eventually finished on third and was uh, overtaken and beaten at the post by the last judgment who was the eventual winner. Number three will be Diploy. Diploy has had one start this season in race number 44 over five and a half furlongs where Diploy finished on ninth. The winner of that race was Jorel who won that race quite impressively by about four and a half lengths. Number five will be Shivai. Shivai has just had one start this season in race number 82 over 1400 meters where Shivai finished on seventh. The winner of that race was Princess Elena who came up with a strong run on the outside and went on to win that race by about two lengths. Number six will be Gizba. Gizba's last outing was in race number 120 this monsoon meeting over five and a half furlongs where Gizba finished on fifth out of six runners and the winner of that race was Romanov. Number seven will be God Save the Rest. God Save the Rest's last outing was in race number 127 over 1400 meters where God Save the Rest finished on fifth and the winner of that race was uh, Arjuna who took it pillar to post. Number eight will be Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet's last outing was uh, quite an eye catcher over five and a half furlongs where Ultraviolet uh, finished on fifth in race number 106 and the winner of that race was Oakbrook who won that race very impressively by about seven and a quarter lengths. We move on to the fifth race in today's card which is the Django Handicap to be run over a distance of 1200 meters. Number one will be Beatles Bible. Beatles Bible's last outing was in race number 124 over 1400 meters where Beatles Bible came into the straight leading the pack but eventually fitted out to finish on third and also in the same race we had number four Summer Hill who was right at the back end of the field who finished on eighth and the winner of that race was uh, Devotion who just managed to hold on at the post. Number two will be Dungle. Dungle's last outing was in race number 130 this monsoon meeting. In race number five, uh, in race number 130 over five and a half furlongs. Uh, get, uh, did get a good or a clear opening in the uh, inner rail but finished on fourth. Well, couldn't match strides to the winner who was Coconut. Number three will be Mellow Fellow. Mellow Fellows last outing was in race number 100 over 1200 meters where Mellow Fellow came into the straight traveling very wide of the track and finished on third. The winner of that race was Knight Hurd. Number five will be Sheer Force. Sheer Force's last outing was not an impressive one in race number 115 over 1200 meters where Sheer Force finished on sixth. The winner of that race was Nomi. Number six will be Alien. Aliens uh, had three starts this monsoon meeting, uh, finished, uh, I beg your pardon, has already had seven starts this monsoon meeting, last one being in race number 129 over 1400 meters where Alien finished on seventh, winner of that race was Big Star. Number 
Number seven will be Adwika. Adwika has had two starts this monsoon meeting, last one being quite an impressive one uh, over 1,200 metres in race number 105, where Adwika finished on a length and a half behind the winner. To finish on second, the winner of that race was Tibi Dabo. Number eight will be Rustler. Rustler's last outing was uh, in race number 128 over 1400 meters. Did come and win the front bunch of runners into the final uh, stages of the race, but finished on fifth. And the winner of that race was Hudson, which is a no-whip race. We move on to the feature event of the day, which will be the Monsoon Cup to be run over a distance of 2,000 metres. Number one will be Germanicus. Germanicus's last outing was this Monsoon meeting in race number 109 over 2,000 metres, where Germanicus finished on third. Also in the same race, we had number four, Namid, who was our eventual winner, who took it uh, pillar to post. And uh, also in the same race, we had number five, Multi Glory who finished on second just behind Namid. Also in the same race, we had number seven, Exodus, who finished on sixth. And number eight, No More Politics, who finished on fourth. But our eventual winner was Namid. Number two will be Shivalik Shahs. Shivalik Shahs running after quite a layoff. Uh, last, uh, just had one start this monsoon meeting in race number 95, over 1800 meters, where Shivalik Shahs did lead all the way, but eventually faded out and finished on second, just behind the winner, who was Cadman, who got it just at the post. Number three will be Hartnell. Hartnell's the one that we need to watch out for. Last outing being in race number 118, where Hartnell uh, finished on a very close second over 2,000 meters. The winner of that race was Pothos, being ridden by Pete Trevor, who came up with a late run to win that from Hartnell. Number six will be Ophion. Ophion's last outing was in the Calcutta cold weather season in race number 140 over 2,800 meters. And the that was the, I think, the uh, Queen Elizabeth II Cup where Ophion finished on fourth. And the winner of that race was Winter Renaissance. We move on to the seventh and last race of the afternoon, the Star Empire Handicap, a class two affair, a no whip race over 1400 meters. The first, uh, we are looking at four runners here, number one, Pugnacious, number three, Shohin, and uh, number six, Flashproof, and number nine, uh, Eternally. Uh, Pugnacious had had only one start after coming down from Bombay, where it finished towards the end of the field, seventh out of seven runners. In the same race, we had a uh, Number three, uh, Shohin, who also finished a uh, race towards the end of the field and finished sixth out of seven runners. Then we had number six, uh, Splash Proof, who didn't make much of an impression even after running in front. Eternally finished on third. Next, we are looking at uh, four, three runners here. Number two, Midnight Star. Midnight Star, race number 123, finished on seventh of 12 runners. The winner there was Nobu. Uh, number five, Simran's Choice, who raced from the rear of the field, made late progress, finished on fourth. And number eight, Apalachi, who didn't make much of an impression, even though was in the front bunch, faded to finish on 11th of 12 runners. Uh, we have uh, we are looking at number four, Josh, in race number 102. Earlier won a race number 80, over 1,600 meters. Stepped up in distance over 1,800 meters, but uh, faded after being in the front bunch. The winner there was Fantasia, and uh, this race being over 1,400 meters. Number seven is Jester. Jester has already had... Uh, uh, Two winners, in fact, three winners already on the trot. And uh, Jester here in race number 125 uh, raced in mid bunch, however, made a steady progress and towards the end of the uh, race uh, ran away uh, from El Cid. Number 10 is Farsight, who came down from Hyderabad, had one run, uh, raced towards the end of the field, and uh, as you can see, uh, finished sixth of seven runners. The winner was Big Star. And lastly, we look at number 11, Rak Sharkey. 
Uh, race number 108, Rakshaki led the field as they entered the home straight and uh, till the distance post was in it. However, Flying Cloud, uh, who raced with him head and head, just beat him at the post by about length and a quarter. Thank you.